Learning some of the signs of seizures could really save a baby. So today we're diving into a critical topic. How do you recognize seizures in an infant? Seizures in an infant can be rather subtle and it's not always easy to spot, especially in those itty bitty babies. Why don't we start with what is a seizure? A seizure is an abnormal electrical disturbance that occurs in the brain. Essentially, it's misfiring of the nerve cells that can expand and activate some of the other nerve cells even to the whole brain. In infants, seizures can look very different than they do in older children and in adults. Now, here are the signs that should alert you to a possible seizure. Repetitive movements. One sign could be repetitive jerking movements that might affect the limbs. It could actually occur on one side or even both sides of the body. These movements tend to be similar in beats as opposed to tremors, which can carry a different beat each time. Changes in eye movements. Look for unusual eye movements. These can include the eyes turning upwards or sideways, especially when fixed or making constant uncontrolled movements. Unresponsiveness. The baby might seem temporarily unresponsive or not alert to their environment. This is a critical sign that should not be missed. If you like this video, please go ahead and tickle that like button. It tells me you're liking this content and so I need to do more of these for you. All right, let's get back to the video. Episodic apnea. Episodes of apnea or pauses in breathing can also be an indicator of a seizure. If you notice any of these signs, it's crucial to act swiftly. Remember, seizures in infants aren't always dramatic. They can be rather subtle, making awareness and knowledge powerful tools in your parental care arsenal. Time is of the essence, so do not wait. If you think your infant might be having a seizure, record the incident as soon as possible and immediately seek medical help and attention. To prepare, it's advisable for parents and caregivers to be able to be trained in first aid and have an emergency contact readily available. Knowing what to look for and how to respond with CPR or first aid can ensure the best outcome for your baby. Now, I have a special guest, Dr. Justin Rosati, who is a pediatric neurologist, and he will tell you about the different types of medications we use to treat seizures in the infants. Let's talk about how to treat seizures in the NICU. The first medication I wanna talk about is called phenobarbital. It is one of the oldest medications we have and has been used to treat seizures for over 100 years now. It is one of the best studied anti-seizure medications in the NICU. It's really effective at treating seizures. One of the only downsides is that it can cause babies to be really sedated. Another medication that you may have heard about is something called Keppra or Levetiracetam. It's a newer medication and we really like it because it doesn't interact with other medications and doesn't have a lot of side effects. The downsides are that when it was compared to phenobarbital, it didn't seem to be as effective. However, it is a great medication if you need to be on an anti-seizure medication for a long period of time. We also use benzodiazepines like Versed or Midazolam. However, we tend to use them in a long-acting, continuous drip form rather than a short-acting medication like lorazepam or Ativan. And the reason we do this is because neurons in babies are slightly different than they are in adults. There are also a bunch of other medications you may be seeing used to treat seizures in the NICU. These medications include phosphenitoin, topiramate, lecosamide, and sometimes even lidocaine. For refractory seizures, we may even use continuous ketamine drips. Recently, research has shown that for acute seizures in the setting of things like hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy or stroke, we're actually able to discontinue seizure medications once the seizure stops. Yay! But every child is different, and the reason that they have seizures dictates what we do to treat their seizures. Thank you, Dr. Asadi. Now, do remember that seizures can be really subtle in infants. So if you have any concerns, please reach out to your pediatrician immediately. I hope this video was informative for you. Please, if you have any questions, go ahead and add them in the comment section. And please feel free to look at the videos that are popping up right next to me right now on my channel. If you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe so you can get a lot more content on baby stuff and make you stuff. Okay, thank you so much. This is Dr. Ford signing out. We'll see you with the next video.